Because of you readers, it's Shannon, and today is Wednesday, which means it's Top 5 Wednesday, which means I have a list for you. For the first time in forever, I haven't done a Top 5 Wednesday video in so long. If you don't know, Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey created this whole shindig. It used to be like just a certain group of booktubers, but then it got so big that she decided to make the group on Goodreads public. So if you ever want to participate in Top 5 Wednesday, you are more than welcome to, and I will put a link to the Goodreads uh, group down below. This week we are talking about our Top 5 Actor slash Actress portrayals of characters. Whether it's from a book to a movie or a book to a TV show, just all of the above. These are so obnoxious. I'm only realizing now how obnoxious my brace bracelets are. I apologize. My number five is Zoe Deutsch who played Rose Hathaway in the Vampire Academy movie. This is the book. Um, I know a lot of people didn't like the movie. I don't know why because I thought it was freaking hysterical and I adored it and I thought she was Rose Hathaway to a T. I was really really impressed um, just how sassy and snarky and just she was perfect. She was I love the Vampire Academy movie. I did a review on it and I kind of just fangirled the whole time. I thought it was so good. I don't care what anybody says. And Zoe Deutsch is brilliant as Rose Hathaway, in my opinion. My number four and my number three are both from the same book series. My number four is Rupert Grint, who played Ron Weasley from the Harry Potter book to movie adaptation. I think Rupert was so unbelievably perfect for the part of Ron that I think it's like a miracle he was cast when he was like 10 or whatever. He is my number four. Not because of him, because I would have him way higher up on the list, but I think that he, how do I explain it? I don't think the scripts of the Harry Potter films uh, showed Ron to his full potential, so I don't think Rupert got to show his full potential as Ron type of thing. I could go on for hours about how Ron wasn't included enough in the movie or given like enough importance in the movies, but I won't. Um, but yeah, I think he was so funny. He was so hysterically funny and genuine and loyal. And just, I think he played him so perfectly and so, just so, so, so well. Yeah, just so good. Oh, I always put the book back. But my number three is Alan Rickman, who played Severus Snape from the Harry Potter books to movie adaptations. I mean, he was Snape. I mean, he was Snape to a T. I mean, he was so perfect. Well, I mean, I can't, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. He just, he was, he just, he was Snape. I, I don't have anything else to say. My number two is kind of cheating because technically I haven't read the book, but I do know the story very well and I know the characters very well because it's Les Miserables by Victor Hugo and I've seen the musical, I've seen the movie, I, I know all about it. I chose Hugh Jackman who played Jean Valjean in the most recent movie um, adaptation. He was so freaking brilliant. I will always be bitter that he did not win the Oscar that year. It was like a year ago or two years ago. I don't know. I will never... Never let that go. <laughs> I think he deserved it so much to be able to act that well and perform the songs that well because they perform live, the songs live in the movie. Um, just to be able to do, to do all of that. He was so unbelievably perfect. The first scene in the film, I knew like that he was just going to be the perfect Jean Valjean for that movie adaptation because I have a different choice for stage, but we're not going to go into talking about musicals. But um, if you haven't seen the Les Miserables movie, I would highly suggest you watch it with a box of tissues because it's not a very happy story obviously he, he, he was so brilliant in this role <sighs> and then my number one is not going to come as a shock to anyone and i'm sure it's a lot of other people's number ones and if not she is definitely on their list and it is jennifer lawrence in the role of katniss everdeen in the hunger games films i mean she is literally perfection she is so perfect and i have no doubt that if she played um any other ya role in any other YA ap adaptation, she'd probably be on this list too. I mean, it's just like, it's just, she's, she's so brilliant. Like, she's a, like a genius actor. I remember reading the Hunger Games books and I adored them, but I always felt this sort of like disconnect with Katniss. Not that I didn't know who she was or what kind of person she was. I just kind of like, I don't know, I didn't like connect with her. The second I saw Jennifer Lawrence, you know, portray her at, in the film, I, I like, I, I like had that missing piece. I understood her character more. I knew exactly who she was and she's just Jennifer Lawrence. Oh my god. Just she's so good. How many times can I say that in one video? I mean really. Those are my top five. Let me know who your top five, uh, what is it? It's, it's a mouthful. Actor slash actress character portrayals from books. <laughs> what? You know what I'm saying. It's in the title right here. But yeah, let me know down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I love you Ellen. Bye!